Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about the permutation of non-distinct objects. Earlier whatever we have learned about the permutations and combinations, we have considered each object as a distinct type, right? But it is possible that you may have same type of objects where the replacement or if you change one object for another, it actually does not matter. Like S U C C E double S, right? Here we have total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters. So the total number of letters that is N is actually equal to 7, right? Total number of objects over here are 7. But here if you replace this S by this S or this S by this S, it actually does not matter, right? Similarly, if you replace these C first C by second C or second C by first C, it actually does not matter, right? So, in this case, how many total permutations are possible? The word length is 7 only. So, if we have 7 places and we have 7 objects, total number of permutation, that is n p n, will actually be 7 factorial in this case, right? But, here we have these repetitions. We have three repetitions of S and we have two repetitions of C and U and E appears only once. So if we have these three S, in how many ways these three S can be arranged? These three S's can actually be arranged in factorial three ways. Similarly, these two C's can also be arranged in factorial two ways which we have already counted over here right so since there is no difference between these three s and there is no difference between these two c's that means we have to discount the calculations which we have already included over here that is why when we calculate permutations in such cases we actually discount these repetitions and this will become seven factorial divided by three factorial divided by 2 factorial and there are 1 repetitions for u and for e so we can divide it by 1 factorial and 1 factorial. Here we have total 4 letters which are used in this word. S has 3 repetitions, C has 2 repetitions, U has 1 repetition and E has 1 repetition. Right? So if we try to represent it in general form, suppose we have n objects where n1 number of objects are of one type and n2 number of objects are of second type and then we have n3 number of objects which are of third type and suppose we have nk number of objects which are of k type and they together are actually equal to n which is the total number of objects then in that case the total number of permutations possible will be n factorial that is the way in which n number of objects can be arranged in n number of places divided by n1 factorial divided by n2 factorial divided by n3 factorial this will continue till n k factorial right so this will be the number of permutations for n number of objects where n1 objects are of one type, n2 are of two type and nk of another type and they total actually equal to the number of objects n. Then the total number of permutations possible will be n factorial divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial, n3 factorial till nk factorial. This is the generalized format for calculating the number of permutations where there are non-distinct objects, right? So if we come back to our original example, here the total number of words which can be made out of these seven letters will actually be equal to 7 factorial which is 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by factorial of 3 that is 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. I'll not write multiplied by 1. Multiplied by 2 factorial which is 2 multiplied by 1 and multiplied by 1 factorial which is 1 and multiplied by 1 factorial which is 1 again. This 3 and 2, 3 2's are 6 will cancel this 3 and 2, 2 1's are 2, 2 2's are 4 and this will be equal to 5 2's are 10 and 7 6's are 42 that means 420. 
So you can actually make 420 different words using these seven letters where S is repeated three times and C is repeated two times, right? So this is what happens when the letters are repeated or the objects are repeated. Few objects are of the same type. Then this is the way how we calculate permutations, right? And after this, we are going to solve few problems based on permutations and combinations. And you should watch those problems because that will help you in strengthening your concepts. And it will also give you a guideline how to think or how to go about these kind of problems. So keep watching MathMath and bye-bye till then.